as the inventor of rockboarding. Can you tell us a little bit about how it came about? Uh, well, it, it's uh, been, a, been a consequence of uh, the environment uh, changes, actually. I've seen a lot of uh, drop in snow around the world and I've seen um, just the lack of snow. Yeah, and I've just realised that uh, I can just snowboard down rock faces, just straight down. And uh, with a few techniques I've uh, learned over the years, uh, you can actually achieve uh, some reasonable corkscrew uh, 360 uh, backslides down the rocks itself, actually. Yeah, so yeah. Tell, us, tell us about some of the techniques you've developed. Uh, when you go down the rock faces, and uh, it's more or less just sort of uh, kangaroo style, more or less. Uh, you look at the kangaroos, you get the ideas from them. They hop, I hop, I go down, and uh, bounce, really. Just bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Mm. Have you got any names for some of the turns that you do? Yeah, well, like I mentioned, uh, definitely uh, corkscrew uh, 180, uh, sort of uh, Trav Rice style, generally. Yeah, just sort of go down. Commit, you have to commit to these lines. Does, uh, it, does it damage your equipment much? Because it looks like it does. Well, yeah, uh, it can do. Look, it does a few scratches to the base of the board, i found, over time. But uh, all in all, she'll be right, mate. And what's the future hold? Uh, I actually believe that snowboarding uh, is going to evolve more and more with climate change, uh, with, uh, to be the rockboarding sensation that it will be. And I'm looking uh, at actually doing the first uh, descent down Uluru uh, sometime 2020. Mm. Oh, wow. So uh, tell us about where you've been rockboarding lately. Uh, well, yeah, that's... It's been uh, travelling far and wide, uh, actually. Uh, I actually went to the Grand Canyon, um, anywhere where there's no snow, really, and uh, did, the, did the face uh, of Grand Canyon itself down, hard, it's not steep, got to commit. Uh, the other one, it was uh, actually uh, Death Valley, you know, just going around there, uh, get hot at times. <laughs> Uh, but anywhere really where there's no snow and uh, yeah, just um, really evolved now to a point where I just look for rock. I don't bother, bother with the snow anymore actually. Okay, so, so tell us a little bit about, um, I understand you've been developing rock boards yourself? Well, it's, it's been, uh, you know, literally midnight till uh, three in the morning. I've been looking at some all sorts of materials, uh, you know, and basically just coming down to uh, just a pure uh, slate board made of rock, slate, pebbles, uh, just crushed together, and you've got uh, yeah the rock board because it's basically the only thing that's going to actually work. I'm hoping Burton will cotton onto it because uh, oh, I think it's the way of the future because um, they're just the old boards; they don't cut it anymore. And uh, yeah, I'm really trying to work hard on uh, the latest technology. Yeah, well, these are uh, some of the uh, the early uh, prototypes for the rock board. Originally uh, started out with the the standard uh, issue snowboard here, uh, which is fine, but I can't show you the bottom of the board. It's it's uh, it's too uh, frightening, really. Uh, but then I, I realised that maybe uh, just the the standard household rake might work, and uh, this was the next uh, prototype. I found it a bit thin to stand on originally and uh, it was a bit uh, of a mess after the first few turns. I, I really uh, moved on then really thinking that maybe I should become the rock itself. So I uh, came up with this board. Uh, I know it looks uh, a bit small but it's effective. All the same it's uh, a little small though in the end I found the sandstone disintegrating underneath. So uh, that, that, that prototype uh, was over. And uh, literally uh, at three in the morning, the light bulb came on for me. And uh, I uh, realized that uh, it was gonna be the household ladder that came through in the end. But uh, once again, it's proved to be a bit big. But uh, all the same, it doubles as a kind of a descent and ascent device. But uh, once again, this really, uh, needs to be developed further and I'll 
be uh, keeping in touch with the latest uh, developments. Uh. Good on you. See we'll, ya. See, we'll see you on the rocks. See you on the rocks. Cheers. Bottoms up.